Hey YouTube, I have a quick video of how to fix the BDF mix pump error. There it is. All right, what you want to do, first thing is first, turn off the machine. So we're going to turn it off. We're going to go ahead and open up our panel. All right, once you have your panel open, what you want to do is turn it back on. What you have to do is push this in. You see how it slides in and then turn it up. All right, everything is going to register. Everything's going to turn back on. And it's going to take about uh, maybe five minutes to power up. Here, it's starting to load the program. And after it loads the program, what you want to do is you want to clear everything on this little check mark. All right, once you clear it, it's going to do its cycle. There it is. And in here, we have our blinking light, the alarm, the BDF mix pump error. Now this key point is essential. This will not work if you do not power it off first. You need to power it off first, then turn it back on. I guess it's like a reset, it's a reboot. Now you have the option to turn off the alarm. The alarm is off. Now you do is put it back to auto and you're ready to go. After the machine is done with its cycle, you should be able to run it once again. One thing you gotta make sure is you have your water flow open all the way. Otherwise, this machine is gonna heat up and turn off. And that's how you clear code the BDF mix pump error on a Tetra Pak Continuous Freezer 1500. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.